Now to a critical moment today in the race for Oregon's next governor. Unaffiliated candidate Betsy Johnson has delivered thousands of signatures to Oregon's Secretary of State's office. That happened this afternoon. And it's a key step toward the November ballot. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas joins us now live in studio with reaction. Adrian? Well, Pete, Nora, according to Oregon election rules, Johnson only needs about half of the nearly 50,000 signatures to be verified to appear on the ballot in November. Johnson's opponents, Democrat Tina Kotek and Republican Christine Drazen put out statements slamming Johnson in reaction to the news, but political experts say despite how competitive the race is shaping up to be, it will be a first for Oregon politics. For the first time ever, Oregon voters will have a choice of three women on the ballot in November. <laughs> Johnson and her campaign were excited at Tuesday's signature drop-off in Salem. One local political analyst says the momentum Johnson is bringing into the race, based on recent polls, could make history in November. Oregon has only once had um, an independent candidate uh, become governor, and that was in the 1930s. Uh, so and Johnson um, has a real shot to win big picture, it's in alignment with what we've seen, which is a competitive race. Horvick says recent polling suggests typical issues for voters like education have taken a backseat to issues like cost of living, homelessness, and crime, something he says will be a major challenge no matter who becomes the state's next governor. Education just is not a top issue for voters right now, and that is really unusual historically. And so whoever wins is going to tackle a different set of issues. And, and will necessarily have a different set of priorities than we've seen governors have in Oregon for at least the last several decades. Johnson knows she has a big task ahead of going against the grain of establishment politics, but for now she's celebrating this win. Well, this is a historic day, and uh, today is all about the signatures. It's all about putting Oregonians back in charge of their politics and their government. Now, both Democrat Tina Kotick and Republican Christine Drazen released statements in reaction to Johnson's signature delivery. Drazen dismissed the news and said Johnson is, quote, a second Democrat on the ballot because of Johnson's previous political history. Kotick's campaign called her, quote, deeply out of touch with Oregonians and slammed her voting record as a state lawmaker. Live in studio, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon. Okay.